onto the main roof and issues around the skylight. Yes, indeed. It's uh, it's been put in drunk, if you can see that, rather than straight. Uh, that's not the issue. The issue is everything else around it. There's no felt on the roof. We've just got boards. The water's going to be pouring in this entire section. These slates are huge compared to the standard slates on the roof. So these have just been jammed in to temporarily repair it. This is the joint between the two roofs and I haven't got a clue why they've done this. I was talking about a secret gutter before, you know, if you've got like a tiled roof meeting a slated roof or different size slates on one side to the next, you put a secret gutter in. What they've done is they've put fishtail soakers in and cut all these slates rather than running it through straight. I don't know why. There is a slight kink in the roof. It's not as bad as the front. The front is 10 times worse than that. Um, I'm not, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite a sight to behold. So you're gonna have issues coming down here. You can see, got flash band tape and silicones and when you move round to this side of the Velux window, again, sticky band, flash band tape, just, I mean, you know, this is what it is. Uh, the valley's in reasonable condition. The chimney that has been capped, it's not been maintained. It's got virtually no mortar in it at all. All the flashings are gone, so we've got sticky band tape up against it. And it's got trees, it is breeding life. Uh, re repairs up at the top. The gutter, it's old, it's cast. Um, sticky band tape, someone's left a knife up here. Um, well, water doesn't make it down there, it's just going to be cascading off here. I don't know what this is, little system is. But overall, the slates are in great condition. So everything I've just mentioned in the previous video regarding getting rid of the chimney. Let's take all the slates off. I'll save as many as possible. I'll only be allowing 30% for breakages and breathable membrane, premium quality, 180 gram felt. Eve protection trays as a final barrier underneath here. Let's take this partition wall down so it sits a bit flatter. Although this, the side, I mean, it's, it's really not sticking up much at all. The other side is huge, as we've pointed out from the main road. So we'll take down that partition wall. No doubt there's gonna be the large 3v2 timbers underneath on the far side that need changing. New felt. New treated timbers and refix all the slate to a high standard. New gutters and fascias along here. Uh, this is just 9mm absolute rubbish that's been pinned on an angle. Um, let's put a nice timber barge board behind here. Some nice fascia coming up the sides. Let's pin it correctly and let's use a continuous dry verge, a Kruger aluminium, and that'll cap the edge for you indefinitely. Same with this edge. The goal on here is zero maintenance. So once we get rid of the stack, get rid of the stack, breathable membrane, continuous verges, and I will even change the ridges on the peak for a dry ridge system, which means no mortar, which means nothing can get through these ridges and run down. Zero maintenance is what we're aiming for on this property. Uh, any questions? Give me a give me a call anytime. Cheers.